Hello guys, welcome to Filaments Daily. Today let's talk about performance problem with filament and live wire, which is quite often discussed in the filament community. And this is based on a few tweets and videos, so let me show you the problem. So Joseph, in one discussion on Twitter, pointed out that filament in production, especially with action models, is slow because it sends a request to the server. And he even pointed out the example on the official filament demo, even delete modal confirmation window sends the request to the server. So I thought to investigate. And then I found this video by WebDebMatics channel, and I will link that in the description below, which talks about the same issue. So in this video, I will roughly talk about the same thing, but in my own words, with my own examples, and a bit deeper maybe investigation. But you can watch this video and also the solution to the performance issue. But first, the issue itself. If we take a look at the official filament demo, and I've cloned it down here, demo.test, here's the table of posts, and there's view, edit, and delete. Look what happens when I click delete. I opened the Laravel debug bar and the network tab here. So when I click delete, there's a confirmation model window. So there was one request to live wire update in the network tab and that request fired all those eloquent queries. So there's a separate Ajax request getting all that data from the database again, although everything I clicked was a modal window to confirm the delete. I didn't even perform the deleting yet. So what happens if we take a look at the update, live wire update here in the network tab and see what it returns. We zoom on HTML part, and this is how Livewire works in general. It returns HTML and re-renders that part of HTML. And we see that the HTML contains resource list, record page, section, and the first actually non-HTML text we see. Let's scroll. It's navigation, UL, and then LI, list item of posts which is this on the top left side. This is a breadcrumb, which means that when I click this modal window or any, in fact, modal window action in the filament resource table, it renders everything. The whole page is a big or sometimes huge live wire component, which is re-rendered on whatever action you fire on this page. And this may sound bad, but on the upside, this is what allows the live wire and tall stack to work, refreshing and re-rendering HTML without us writing any JavaScript. So the whole page is interactive by magic, but there's a lot of things happening under the hood behind the scenes sometimes in not very performant way. And now let me show you how it works on slower network connections. For example, if we throttle to slow 3G and on the same page, I click the same delete, look what happens. Loading, loading, loading around three seconds or so. In fact, 2.71. And then that loading time depends actually on how much data and how big is the page underneath. So probably one of the solutions or workarounds to the problem is to optimize the actual table, as few columns as possible, as few queries as possible, any widgets or filters on top would be also probably refreshed with that, summarizers and stuff like that. Another option would be to actually put the delete button inside of the edit, for example, as they did here in the customers, from what I remember, there's no delete button, there's edit, and then there's delete here. So basically do not use any modal windows on heavy tables or heavy lists with a lot of widgets and filters. In the video I had mentioned from Web Devmatics, what he's suggesting is using the package called wire elements. So you create modal windows with that wire elements, basically recreating each modal yourself. It is possible to do, but then it kind of defeats the purpose of using filament in the first place for quick admin panels because you would override quite a big important part of filament. And you would think that filament core team should know about this problem and performance issue and should work on that. And they kind of do. I've heard they are working on partial rendering in version four, but it's still unclear how would that work and how would that improve the performance. Meanwhile, we can take a look at GitHub issues on the official filament, for example, large table performance was opened in 2023 in October and was heavily discussed back and forth. And Zep, the core team member, is kind of pointing fingers at Livewire and not much they can do from Filament 
perspective. I will link this issue in the description below and there's a huge discussion later about components, how they are loaded, how to optimize it, optimize the kilobytes of data from the front-end perspective and then herring the creator of filament is involved quite heavily and then one of the biggest community members Andrew is here as well. So yeah if that thread, if that github discussion would not actually solve the issue at least it will give you some idea how to maybe optimize performance in your specific case. So again I will link that in the description below. But overall as much as I'm a fan of filament in general I need to admit that in some cases for heavy tables with a lot of interactions maybe it makes sense to instead use Vue.js and create all the interactivity yourself. Yes it would probably take much more work but would potentially solve performance issues related to tall stack and live wire interactions. What do you think? Do you have any solutions to this problem? And have you encountered that problem yourself on production servers, especially with slower connections? Share your stories and potential solutions in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.